My name is Jim Hawking, and my rank was boatswain's mate third class. Well, I joined the Navy because my father and my uncle and my grandfather were all in the Navy. But I had a mission. I was planning to become a Russian language interpreter. I had four years of Russian language in high school, and I made my plan to go into the Navy, and I talked with the recruiter, and the recruiter promised me that I would get into the school in Monterey, California. Instead, I ended up on a destroyer on my way to Vietnam when I came out of boot camp. My Russian teacher tried to convince me to go into the Air Force, which is where the language specialists were, but my family was Navy, and I decided to go Navy. Well, there was a, a, a teacher in my school, which was Middleborough, Massachusetts Memorial High School. He had been in the Air Force, and he was involved with Russian language. And typically, when you were in high school during the years I was going through, you could have French or Latin or Spanish, but he offered Russian. And so I actually started my, in the seventh grade, I took Russian for the first time, and it was once a week we would meet. And then in the eighth grade, we did it again once a week we would meet. We would meet and then it became a regular course in high school. I was with the initial class, um, seventh, eighth. We were the first high school class to have it, and I was in that group. And so I stayed with it through high school all the way through. It started out as, I don't want to do Spanish, and so I did Russian. In basic training, I was, uh, it was in Great Lakes, Illinois. Um, I took the, I flew from um, Illinois, from Boston to Illinois and did my eight weeks of basic training. It was uh, from October to December of 1967. My transition from civilian life to military life was pretty easy. I, I, I really didn't have a problem. Um, like I said, you know, my dad was Navy. We always talked Navy. I used to build plastic model ships. Um, I, I did get accepted at a college before I went into the Navy, but I, I made the choice of going into the Navy instead. And then um, it was my first airplane flight, and it was not a very good flight as far as I was concerned. So I took the train back from Chicago to Boston. And then while, while we were, um, after being assigned to the Davis, I we were down in the, Medi in the Caribbean and while in the Caribbean, on our way back, I developed a case of appendicitis. And so I was lucky enough to go from the Davis to the USS Wasp on the bosun's chair across the water. And my second flight was from a fixed wing propeller airplane off the USS Wasp, which completely eliminated my fear of flying after that.